Hi there, I'm Dr. Paul Niujukian. I'm an assistant professor of bioengineering, neurosurgery, and electrical engineering at Stanford University. I have an MD and a PhD in bioengineering, which means I'm a doctor, an engineer, and a scientist. I'm here with an urgent health message. It is literally a matter of life and death. If you are eligible and you haven't done so yet, please get vaccinated for COVID-19. It is imperative that you do so. All three FDA approved vaccines are overwhelmingly safe, highly effective, even against the Delta variant. And if you're in the US, free. All you have to do is go to vaccines.gov to find a local clinic or location near you to get the vaccine for free. At that site, you'll also find resources to help you schedule a home vaccination if you or a loved one are unable to travel to a vaccination site. Please get vaccinated. It is our single best method for ending the pandemic, and we can do it. If you have gotten vaccinated, I thank you for doing your part in combating this crisis. If you know family or friends who are not vaccinated, I urge you to share this message and help get them vaccinated. I should take a moment and just note that I have no conflicts of interest in making this video or, or sharing this message. No person, company, organization, government has paid me or pressured me into sending this out there. This is my own assessment and expert medical opinion after watching very carefully the timeline of this pandemic nearly every day for the last year and a half. Everyone who can, should get vaccinated. I've been watching this for a while, and what I'm seeing now is frightening. At the time of this recording, which is July 19, 2021, only about 64% of eligible people in the U.S. have been vaccinated. That, unfortunately, is not enough to prevent another surge we're staring down a fourth wave. That means more death and more lockdowns, unfortunately. But what makes this particularly dangerous is that the Delta variant is different than what we saw in the past. While it is true that it is no more deadly than the original version, it still will kill about 1 in 50 people that test positive for COVID-19, the Delta variant is different in that it could be a lot more lethal, a lot more deadly for unvaccinated individuals. Not because it itself is any more deadly, but because it spreads so quickly between people, it has a much higher chance of overwhelming local hospital resources. What do I mean by that? Well, it's not like everyone is getting sick across the country at the same time. That's not the way any pandemic or virus or spread of disease works. Instead, what you have is local outbreaks in cities or counties, and that's where a bunch of people get sick all at the same time. The Delta variant of COVID-19 is particularly dangerous because it will cause a lot more people in a local area to get sick than the original version. This means that local hospital resources, in the particular ICU beds right, and ventilators, can get used up much more quickly and get full than what we saw before. Why is this so dangerous? Well, to understand it, you need to play through the numbers a little bit. Right now, if somebody tests positive for COVID-19, they have a 1 in 12 to 1 in 20 chance of requiring 
a hospital admission. This isn't just going to the hospital or to the emergency department to get checked out and then going home a few hours later. No, this is being so sick that they admit the individual into the hospital for overnight or typically multi-day stay. Now, if someone is admitted to the hospital for COVID-19, the probability that they then need to be transferred to the ICU and get a ventilator is somewhere between one in three to one in five. The average is really actually one in four. What this means is that they are having trouble breathing on their own and they can't get enough oxygen into their body. And so they have to go to the ICU, the intensive care unit. They need to be sedated, knocked unconscious with medication, and a tube is put down their throat, hooked up to a ventilator so that a machine can force their lungs to breathe for them, push air into their lungs, and the machine is doing the breathing for them. That's to ensure that they get the air and oxygen that they need. Without that, someone who needs a ventilator without a ventilator will die. So it's necessary. And COVID-19, unfortunately, has a pretty high chance of needing someone to go to the ventilator and needing someone to go to the ICU and need ventilatory support if they're hospitalized, one in four on average. Now, the danger comes in with the Delta variant when it rapidly makes a whole bunch of people in the local city or county very, very sick, meaning lots of people go to the hospital and of those people, lots of people need to go to the ICU and that runs the risk of filling up the ICU. Once the ICU is full of a bunch of COVID uh, patients, then every additional person who needs to go to the ICU can't because the ICU is full. There's no more ventilators. And if the ICU is full and there's no more ventilators, then every person who needs to go can't go and instead will unfortunately die. That means that it takes the mortality rate of someone who tests positive for COVID-19 from 1 in 50 to around 1 in 20 or 1 in 25, something like that. And that makes it a whole lot more scary. That's why the Delta variant is so dangerous. It's because it has a much higher chance of overwhelming local city county hospital resources and dramatically increasing the amount of death. I don't know about you, but I would never chance this. This is why I got vaccinated months ago. I urge you to do the same. I wouldn't chance it on my loved ones, or my family members, or my friends. I would encourage them to get vaccinated as well. I wouldn't be able to live with myself with the guilt if I was the cause of a loved one getting sick and not being able to get the care that they needed because it, the ICUs were full. This is all avoidable. We don't need to go through this. We've all suffered enough. We don't need any more death. We don't need any more lockdowns. We can avoid all of this. We just, as a society, as a population of Americans, we just need to collectively all get vaccinated and we can end this entirely. Please, please, help us end this. Get vaccinated. Thank you.